Hi Tech Team, Scott here. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. Uh, long story short, we've installed a lot of new LED lights on stage. Uh, we bought three and stole a couple from around the building. And uh, this allows us to do some really cool uh, color textures in the back wall. We've added some stage design elements. It's all needed kind of some additional lighting reinforcement to make it work. Our leprechaun board simply wouldn't um, wouldn't quite cut it for us. So um, we've gone to a computerized system and it means we've gained some things and we've lost some things. Hopefully long term we'll gain back what we've lost. But meanwhile it's going to be some time learning this new system and, and trying to figure it all out. Uh, again, long story short, I will program all of the elements for the week into the computer and then we will execute them as they happen on a Sunday morning. So hopefully that um, will make it very reliable what we've got. Eventually want to in build in some things that we're able to react with the Holy Spirit as kind of things are moving within the service and we're not stuck to this predefined thing. So that's my long term goal. We'll take baby steps in that direction. Uh, the software that we use is called Freestyler DMX. It is free, which is fantastic. It saved us about 2000 bucks there. Um, it's got some quirks, but we're getting them figured out. So let me show you that software and help you guys learn that as quickly as possible. All right. So um, you'll see that the Leprechaun board is still here. And those are my drumsticks. Never mind that. Uh, the Leprechaun board is still here. I've set up this computer on the table next to it. And the computer is going to be how we execute things. Now, if for some reason it bombs, it's very, very easy simply to, uh, to plug the Leprechaun board back into the, uh, the DMX dongle here. It's on the floor. Um, it's called the it, an NTEC DX, DMX USB Pro. All we have to do is plug into that, and it's ready to go. And we're back to where we were before. So we haven't lost anything. Um, but while it's plugged into the computer, the computer's pumping out ones and zeros that the lights inter uh, interpret to try to come up with the, light, the right color combinations and dimmer settings and all those sorts of things. Um, so what we're looking at here is the computer screen, and um, let me show you what you're looking at. This is the stage. Uh, that's where Jim normally stands. There's a drum set, keyboard, guitars over here. All of these little dots are the light fixtures where they're hitting. Uh, you'll see that this is a lot easier to say, yeah, I want a little more light on Jeremiah. We can select the fixture. There's my mouse. I'm going to select the fixture. And then over here to the right, this little thing came up. And this allows us to um, turn up and down the light fixture on stage. You can see that happening. Um, so that is that is a great thing uh, that allow, that gives us a lot more flexibility in what we do. Furthermore, I've programmed all the sets into a playlist. Playlist will have the elements of the day. First one here is pre-service and then it keeps going all the way down the service with uh, and it adjusts the house lights and all sorts of stuff with it too. So uh, without further ado, let me just show you the light show from top to bottom here and explain what's happening. So for pre-service, I'm going to go ahead and fire this off. All right, all I did to fire it off was I pressed the play button right there, and that's playing. It's cycling through all of the presets on the colors on the back panels that we've installed. And uh, it's real slow, but it's, it happens. You can see it on there. Um, so as soon as pre-service is done and we're ready to go into the pre-service pre number this week, days go by, uh, you press the button. And it's got a certain delay on here. So days go by, it's got one and a half second delay, or fade time as it were you'll see how many steps there are. There are 13 steps is the second number and then the first number is where you're at in that progression. So if I press play on that here, I'm going to do that in three, two, one. Up go the house lights. The back lights are rotating through as they need to be. Um, and by the way, each of these color lights have a, um, a color palette that shows up here at the bottom. So you can instantly select what color you need. That's true for our stage washes as well. Uh, before you had to cycle to, for, to get from red to green, you had to pass through blue. Now you can go straight to it. So I reconfigured those. Hopefully you guys will like that a little more. Um, and uh, once that pre-service number is done, we're ready to hop into announcements. So all you do on your playlist here is you go down to the next arrow and you press play in three, two, one. And then lights came down a little bit. The house levels are to the right thing. The back color palettes are not, are not changing at all. And then after that, I have a worship verbal. Here we go, fired that off. That's when Jeremiah is kind of opening the worship set. Here's the worship set itself. I've got the back panels cycling colors just slightly. And then here's offering. It's going to bring it way down. The back panels change to um, purple as well as like an aquamarine. 
And then immediately after that, we're going to be going into a video. Here's the video fire off, which is not much different, really. Uh, message setting is going to bring up the house and the stage lights for us. And then I've got me message scripture reading, which brings up the house levels. There you go, I fired that off right now. And then we're ready to do the wrap up after that. So this gives a bit more control um, to what exactly is happening with these color palettes, which is awesome. Um, I realize that it doesn't give you guys the same level of control you're used to having. I hope to fix that in the future here with some of our budget dollars and give you a controller to allow, allow you to do that. Um, so we're going to start working on this. We're going to start integrating this. And uh, if you have questions, let me know. I'm very, very excited about this. I think this is going to be an awesome addition to what's happening here at Grace. Uh, thanks, guys. We'll talk to you later.